Hi guys, Danny here, and welcome to part two of my how to get started with Road Recraft. Uh, there isn't much I want to cover in this part, but there is a few important things, and I'll just be going over those. It should be a short video, but if it's not, then I apologize for it. So yeah, let's get started. Well, first of all, as you can see here, I've upgraded my power generation station, which I've decided to call this room. Instead of just using my gasoline engine, I also decided to get the performance engine. And like I said, I had a, a lot of redstone, so as you can see there, with the additives bar, I have quite a bit of it. And <laughs> um, I still have a lot of redstone left, where is it? There you go, so you know, let me just add some more into that and it produces a lot of power so it's been quite handy I use that to recharge this and as you can see I have just over one gigawatt uh, gigajoules it will be gigawatts worth the power I spent around a hundred already using the extractor on 13 iron ores and what I got from that is 84 steel ingots so yeah 13 ores to 84 ingots it's crazy like I said in my last part you run it through the machine using the individual parts and then when you put it inside of the blast furnace you get even more because the blast furnace has a chance of giving you extra steel so yeah I got a lot of extra ones from 13 to 84 instead of being just being doubled if I'd used my come on smeltery 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 okay I remember it this time instead of getting just 26 I got 84 so yeah cannot stress it enough always use the extractor and like I said I upgraded it so I also got myself another industrial coil and with this I decided to use an AC electric engine I'd already made an AC electric engine last part but like I said I couldn't use it because it wasn't working for me but I made it work and yeah I'm getting a lot of free power I say free because I didn't have to use any fuel inside of it however I did have to use this shaft core which I magnetized using my magnetizing unit it was quite cheap actually to get the 80 micro teslas micro teslas i just spent around 60 megawatts and with that 60 megawatts i've been getting just over 600 megawatts mega joules megawatts it'll be megawatts when i you know actually use the energy so yeah it's paid off quite well Eventually the shaft core will demagnetize, but as you can see it's still 80 micro teslas, which was what it was initially, so it's still going strong. And yeah, so I used the performance engine to charge up this industrial coil, and there's a lot of power inside that. My boring machine downstairs is going strong. And what else did I change? Oh yeah, I also added some more sugar canes, just so I can make more ethanol faster and it's paid off with the um, one gigajoules of energy cause um, the performance engine also uses the ethanol and the additives and produces around what is it three times four times four times 262 compared to around 60 something if I'm right yeah three times as much power which is some redstone which I have loads of so I can waste it if I want to so yeah it's quite handy and with the AC electric engine I just use a redstone clock and the uh, magnetized shaft core inside of it and I've already produced so much power what I want to do in this part is make a machine that would be quite important but for just rotary craft's sake which like I said is the only mod industrial mod I'm using right now I think I'm gonna make the machine and the machine is a woodcutter very important let's see if I have some stuff uh, base panel okay that's useful steel gear also useful and as you can see I still have my wine springs that I made from last part 
And now let's see. I need three base panels. And two gear units. I don't think I have any of these shaft unit guys. Okay. And next make this. And I need two saws. Everything is so expensive. I think that should be it. And click there. Just need two saws. I can keep that extra gear. And yeah, I think that's it. So now I just go to my work table. Go to my recipe. Let's see. One there. Two there. Steel there, steel there, gear unit there, saw there, saw there, and voila, got myself a woodcutter. Now the deal with the woodcutter is, let me just put this down, Gah, I can't open the thing from there, okay, uh, let me just find it here. The deal with the woodcutter basically is, you can use it to automatically well it automatically replants for you if you just give it enough power but if you enchant it with infinity I said in one of my um, tutorial videos that you can enchant some of the machines in rotary craft it will always replant the tree if not then it will replant the tree if you know uh, the tree drops a uh, sapling so yeah let me just pick this up and I'll just go outside but first let me sleep for a second so yeah there isn't much to cover I'm just gonna be covering the saw uh, the wood cutter I mean sorry and something else what is this something else I have forgotten right now but I'll remember eventually and for this you could use something like the fertilizer which is another machine but since I don't have that, I'm going to have to do this manually. Let me find myself a nice tree first. I could have just gotten a sapling, actually. Anyways, I'll see you guys back when I have stuff prepared. And here we go. Is that enough? No, it is not. So that it's just this was 68. And now it's working. Now let's see how much it's drawing. I had to change out the industrial coil because uh Yeah, I lost the other one. I forgot to pick it up over there and it despawned, so I had to use the one that I was charging with my AC electric engine. And now I can just go here. I always watch out for this blades, obviously. And if I wanted, I could have just, you know, uh, used shears on these leaves and used them to make ethanol. Which is not a bad use for it. But... Oh, it planted one over there as well. Why are you not chopping that one down? I don't know. Well... No matter, let me see. So yeah, this, the unfortunate thing is you need to manually pick up the wood. But... Why is this not working? Okay, let me look it up and then I'll come back and see why this isn't chopping the wood. Anyways, let's try out with a different tree. I'll see what the problem was with that tree, I'll ask Rika, and then I'll put it on the video itself. So when I turn this on, like so, the wood will be chopped down. Not fully again. Hmm. Well, regardless, like I said, I'll ask Rika 
uh, what the problem was here and I'll get back to you guys but just like this and if I see there it's not using much power at all so if you use this with the fertilizer and with that you also use the vacuum which I'll show you guys if I can find it there we go the vacuum you just put the vacuum down supplied with a tiny bit of power it's the same amount of power that the woodcutter was using and then any piece of wood or sawdust that the blades cut down would be sucked inside of the vacuum or you could also use the item refresher same amount of power and it will keep all the items from despawning so you could just go back and take the items like that and yeah so that's number one what I wanted to cover getting wood and number two I'll cover next. Next I'm going to cover another very important part of you know surviving with rotary craft. The first being power generation, second being automated mining, third being uh, getting wood, and the fourth farming. Whether you're trying to get more canola plant or wheat for bread or things like that, I'm just going to show you how to set up a basic farm with you know rotary craft what I have here in my hand where is my lever oh, there it is it's just a normal fan I showed you guys the fan in one of my instructional videos but I never actually got to show the most important uh, function of a fan which is harvesting plants if I turn that on let's see if this is working and it is okay And there you go. You guys saw that the canola is being harvested. And you can see the seeds there. So let me just pick up the seeds. Like so. Hope I didn't miss any. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Automated farming with Rotorycraft. Now the fan uses a very small amount of power, which is 1024, and it harvested, what was it, three blocks in front of it, yeah. So all you need is a couple of fans and a wide area of farming land and some way to pick up the, the items dropped at the end or at the sides using uh, the vacuum which is always a handy thing the vacuum has a very wide range so you could use it for a pretty wide area of farmland and there you go the fan even automatically replants it for you so you don't have to do it yourself and yes since it was, since it was three by three it was pretty handy as well now i don't know if it's actually going to work with sugar cane so let me just test that out right now because the sugar cane is handy for making East. It's doing such a one doing such an awesome job at this. Let's see. I'll just unplant that one. Oh god, I had to get this ready first. Okay. Come on. Okay, there you go. No? Oh well. Well, disregarding the sugarcane, you can still harvest any other plant. So yeah, the fan is quite useful. And yeah, with that I've covered all of the important parts on how to start rotary craft. Uh, please leave a like if you liked the video, or subscribe for more Minecraft videos, and as always, thanks for watching.